While we're waiting for Lucari, wait, the truth behind this kid. Wait, what? Matthew Mizuizi Ronaldo has been trained to become the retard bender of the Twitch community for seven years. Hmm. With his rise in popularity dating back two years ago with his original Who Is series on YouTube in 2018. This was after he'd attempted streaming in 2017 and quickly realized that it's easier to have streamers react to your content than to stream as an affiliate. True. Shroud's third favorite streamer currently averages 12k viewers and stands at the 25th most subscribed channel, two spots under Shroud's previous second favorite streamer, and four spots under Shroud's first favorite streamer when Mr. One Gram is playing. Is CD3. everyone running this down? <laughs> A few may recognize Mizkif as that cameraman Ice Poseidon asked to film the RV trip. Others will remember him from his time as the tube man mascot for Blue Chew. Though to his viewers, he's our favorite autist from the short bus known as Twitch.tv. From reacting to live stream fails to playing a decade old game <laughs> to playing another decade old game and reacting to live stream fails, Miz has done it all. What if I told you he's been hiding something or someone right in plain sight and he's been using it to both profit and attract viewers to his stream more than ever? For me to explain my theory, I need to give a bit of backstory on Miss Gift's sister. Emily was first brought up by ISIS community using their most elite incels skilled in doxing and swatting to do a quick Google search. That's actually my sister. She's known for her uh, hair personalities and these were leaked during his time with ICE. Though it wasn't until December 22nd, 2018 that she made her casting couch debut onto Mrs. Stream for Christmas. Mm. During this, they built gingerbread houses and she was introduced to Wonky, Moxie, XQC, Poke, Axion, Scuff Todded, and even the local Twink Soda Poppin. <laughs> also in the stream, Matthew had a moment of enlightenment. <laughs> Realizing that his viewers wanted to see his sister more than him. For those unaware, 2018 was known as the year of the tit in most countries, purely based off the content that Twitch had consisted of that year. It was a great year. Emily has since made quite a few reappearances on a stream, and even took it over once. Yo, I did this bounty too. It was I've seen a few fan theories pop up that Emily is Miskiff in a wig, and though it sounds outlandish, I don't believe it nice. to be completely far off. I'll explain further, but first, let's think why would Miskiff put on a wig, get CGI artists to create his body in female form, and then post milkies on the internet. Well, that just answered itself, but there's still a few old elephants in the room to clear first. During the great CX leak, a video surfaced of Emily having a threesome with Lena the Plug and Adam22. I think this was an early networking you tactic of like Matt's. It, I also believe those videos to be deep faked, because as most know, Adam22 doesn't have a working pew pew. Next we have the earlier 2018 Christmas stream. I believe this was also another occurrence of deep fake technology and included all paid actors playing popular streamers except for Scuff Totted. You guys know I love my deep fakes. Because to be honest, I don't know how he managed to get in there. Lastly, we have the most recent videos of Miskiff with his sister. This is where my theory begins because how can Miskiff be in a wig and with himself? I initially thought it was green screen, so I inspected every pixel around Emily's body and even in between to make sure, but there was no sign of chroma key found. That's I sat around clueless, wondering how to piece this puzzle together, when all of a sudden it hit me. I don't have any balls. This clip was the key to it all. After learning that Miskiff was a woman, I quickly took to the internet to confirm some news I heard on Infowars. Right here. After the confirmation that China has cloned the female monkey, I believe that Emily has been Miskiff the whole time, and she's been using this clone to dominate both sides of the entertainment industry. Even using the clone to get out of an extra two hours of playing XQC Donator Simulator. The one day she happened to go live is, of course, the one day I'm staring at a wall. She had to go live the night for the one a few hours, the seven hour time frame that I, of course, am staring at a wall. Emily had to go live. Stupid so with that mystery solved, I was ready to pack up my carton of eggs and be on my way. Dito and Speedos, Dito and Speedos, Dito was eating Doritos. 
Cool Ranch, Dito Doritos, Dito also eating Fritos, also good, Dito Fritos, Dito was vibing in Kokomo, Key Lago, Dito Montego, Dito was shooting some free throws at the YMCA, Dito did free throws, Dito was trying to drop some pounds, <laughs> Dito on Keto, Dito was way too damn cute, I might eat him up, Dito Burrito, it's always sunny when Dito is free though, that's why I call him Dito DeVito, Dito on Dito, Dito on Dito on Dito on Dito, Dito on Dito, what a fucking dumb video i loved it what a stupid fucking video good job man i'll even subscribe i liked it good shit i liked it frodo babbins i liked it it was good you can use it as a react congratulations you've made it i liked it man it was good stuff uh, uh, behind you, yo, lack fuck.